it's almost like to us the governor and the legislature have a gun to our head. He's one of several people who don't want to win farm in Piatt County, but he says they have no choice. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. In a 4-2 to two vote, the county board approved Apex Clean Energy to build its first ever wind farm. The wind turbines will be built in areas around Mansfield and D-Land. WCI3's Jamal Williams has more. Piatt County has some of the best farm ground in the world. Why would you bury thousands of tons of concrete and foundations underneath prime farm ground. These are some of the questions people are asking about a new wind farm coming to Pike County. Vice President and Board Member Jerry Edwards says many community members would prefer the land stay the same. It's been farmed for hundreds of years and it, it should remain that. Edwards says 50 wind turbines will be built around Mansfield and the land. They'll reach more than 600 feet tall and take up more than 70 feet. He says they're not needed. They could put, they could cover this state with wind turbines and solar panels and would still not produce enough electricity to power the state. So why did some board members vote yes? Edwards says some of the board's authority was stripped away from local governments with the signing of a new state law. It states counties like Pied can't set rules against solar and wind energy facilities that are more restrictive than the state. County board chairman Todd Henrick also says pushing back would only go so far. The cost the wind would have incurred in uh, uh, fighting this and to a no vote would have been a cost that we would have had to buy, bear for all the citizens of Pike County. He says upwards of half a million dollars in legal fees would be the price to pay for battling this project in court. A spokesperson from Apex Clean Energy responded to concerns from community members. It says, quote, We understand any time there's a change in the community, it can be a transition. But we're confident people across Pike County will see far-reaching benefits because of it. The bulk of construction will start in 2024 with a goal of completion by the end of the year. Henrik says being mindful of community members will go a long way for the company. I hope Apex will be a responsible construction and uh, 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 organizer of the counties, uh, the windmills. It is expected to generate more than $93 million in property tax revenue over the life of the project. This includes $58 million for school districts in the project's area.